Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Today's makeup tutorial is a an inspiration from Kylie Jenner makeup look from the Met Gala 2016. So if you'd like to see how I did this look, please keep on watching. I'm starting this look with taping the sides of my eyes just to get the sharp line from the eyeshadow. I'm using a paper tape. Then I'm prepping my eyes with MAC Painterly Pot as the eye base and using a Bobbi Brown Concealer Brush to apply with. Then I'm using this Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick from Bobbi Brown in the colour Golden Bronze. This is an amazing cream shadow which is so easy to blend and you can use your fingers as well. I'm using my finger to apply more product where it's needed and to make the colour a little bit more intense. Then I'm using this matte shadow from Bobbi Brown in the colour Blonde and using the MAC blending brush in two ones. This is my transition colour. I will be building up the brown towards the back with slightly warmer shades as well. But it's best to start with a light brown. From that same palette, I'm using a warmer brown in colour Coco with this blending brush again by MAC in number 221, just towards the back of the eye and in the crease slightly. Then I'm taking this clean blending brush. This brush is unbranded, but it's just fantastic for blending. Going over the other eye with my 221 blending again and repeating the same process. Then taking my soft focus brush by Bare Minerals, I'm using this matte black shadow from Inglot in number 63. I'm just taking the colour as near to the lash line as possible and creating a precise line which I'm smoking out towards the back with my 221 blending brush from MAC. Repeating the same process on the other side. Then I'm finally removing this tape, which is really annoying. If you've got any leftovers from the shadow on your skin, just remove with a wet wipe. Then I'm applying my lashes, which are from Original London Lashes in Natural. I'm using my Duo Glue in the blue colour.
once you've done that, going back to that matte black shadow, I'm just going over the edge of the lashes so they don't look so visible and there's no white marks from the glue left on my The next step is covering my dark circles with MAC Prep and Prime Bright Forecast. I use it as color correcting shade and again using my beauty blender to smooth everything out. Then I'm using my concealer from Bobbi Brown in color Warm Natural with this Bobbi Brown concealer brush for application. I am going for a warmer look today so that's why my concealer is a bit warmer as well. Then I'm setting my under eyes with Ben Nye Banana Powder. Using a brush, I'm applying quite a generous amount just to bake. Then I'm going in straight with my MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation in NC37. Using my Real Technique brush to apply with. Then I'm using that same Echo Tool brush, which I applied the powder with earlier just to blend out the shade. And pressing on top with my Beauty Blender and over the whole face as well. Then I'm going back to the eyes using this pencil brush from MAC in number 219. I'm using this palette from Zoeva in Naturally Yours. I'm dipping in the colour Sweet Sound and just going under the lash line. From that same palette I'm picking up the colour Casual Elegance which is a goldy light shade and just applying it in the inner corner of my eye as a highlight. Moving on to my face, I'm going to contour my face with Foundation Stick by Bobbi Brown in Almond Number no. 7 using the Essential Beauty Blender to blend out the shade. I'm going over the forehead. Make sure you blend the colour in your hairline. Make sure you contour under your chin as well. And using MAC Studio Fix in NC35, I'm going to set my foundation. Just in the T-zone, I'm using a brush from Bare Minerals. To add warmth to my skin, I'm going to use Bare Minerals. Bronzer in warmth with my Kabuki bronzer brush from now. And using my MAC brush in 224, I'm taking that same bronzer and just contouring my nose. Make sure you blend that bronzer in. 
without leaving harsh lines because it can look for blush I'm using Revolution Blusher in Beloved with my Kabuki brush by NARS for application. For my highlight, I'm going to be using my favourite highlighter from Bobbi Brown in Pink Glow. And I'm using this Weaver Lux Highlight Brush in 105. Applying on the cheekbones, down the nose, forehead and cupid bow as well. Then I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use a matte shadow from Bobbi Brown in Color Saddle with the Zoeva brush, which is called Brow Line in number 322. I'm just filling in any gaps. Then I'm going back with my concealer to clean up the edges of my brows. This brush is by Crown Brush and it's called White Talcon Como in S223. I will be listing down all the products and brushes I have used. Once I have finished with the brows, I'm going back with my 224 MAC blending brush using that same highlighter and just applying on the brow bone as well, just to finish off with it. Then I'm going in with the new mascaras by Revlon. This is the volume and length mascara and I'm just blending my top lashes with the false ones. and applying underneath as well. Then I'm setting my brows with Clear Brow Gel by MAC. And lastly I'm going to do my lips using NYX Lip liner in soft brown. I am going to slightly outline my lips bigger. As we all know, Kylie Jenner lips are bigger than normal. For lipstick, I'm going to use the NYX Soft Matte Cream Lips in color Abu Dhabi.
If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if there's anything particular you would like me to show you next time, please comment down below in the description bar. And see you again. Bye.